M0FXB, welcome to my channel. As you know, I've been doing a lot of reviews on scanners recently and learning about them. So this one is the UBC370 CLT. It's actually been recommended to me, so I thought I'd check it out. Uh, 500 channels, it's an analog scanner, but it does have a built-in FM radio alarm clock. It does say here USB, USB PC programming. I'm curious about that because I know that I had the UBC 125 XLT handheld and that was, but I didn't realize this one could be connected to a PC. So I, I, I'm that's the one I'm, I'm waiting to learn about. So let's quick look at the box. You can see, yeah, it comes well boxed and Uniden, Bearcat, you know, and you've got that website, I think they're called Bearcat something. And um, they've just got a really good reputation, haven't they? So let's just get on with the unboxing. It's a tabletop unit. I know it's retro, it's a bit old fashioned looking, but I just got a feeling it's gonna work quite well. And they've been around a long, long time. So let's just uh, take it out and see what we think. See if it's bigger or smaller than I was expecting. And look at the frequency range on it. I noticed that it's really, has a lot it's, it's not let's have a quick look here uh 25 to 29 then it goes all the way down look all the key ones air bands marine bands i think yeah all the 70 centimeter band two meter hand bands and if you look here lockout priority duplicate channel limit search trying to think here it is emergency free net pmr marine aircraft cb bands of course that's be that'll be 25 to 29 10 meter bands but uh, that'll be fm um are we seeing am yes we are seeing am on the a on the air bands key touch tone so yeah let's just take it out like so I'll try not to drop any parts on the floor So yeah, there's your manual, looks fine. Uh, it's well packaged item. And, and I would say quite inexpensive, you know, I think it was like 110 pound. And I think that you get a lot myself for your money. For 110 pound, I think you get a lot. Now it has got the ability to have rechargeable batteries. Batteries are for backup use only. Alkaline batteries provide about 24 hours of backup power when the scanner is not operated. So it does say alkaline, not sure if it matters. Um, so yeah, 12, 12 volt DC. And at the back here, we've got, oh, there is a USB connector. So I'm really curious to know if that US, what that USB does. It does, it does say PC, so that'll be fun. Headphone jack, 12 volt connector, very common size and BNC there. So I like the look of it. I think it looks really good. And um, let's just get off for now. I probably won't, I won't throw that away because it might come in handy if I ever sell it. Let's put that there. So on first impressions, yeah, nice quality. I like the feel of the squelch. I know it's like an old hi-fi, but in a good way, not in a, in a, in a, in a not nice way. Big volume, alarm set the old fashioned way. Then you've got off radio and tone. So I'm gonna to have to learn all that. Snooze uh, mode, FM service and scanner. So, so yeah, we'll have to learn all that. Nice speaker here, a nice display. FM one, two, some presets there. FM one, two, it's very similar to the Uniden handheld. And the Uniden is at 355, but it's a different style. And then you've got power there. So yeah, pleased with that. See, they give us a, yeah, they give you one of those little budget antennas. I've got one of these already. So that's basically, yeah. I mean, it's not gonna be great, but it's, it, it would work in for many things, especially broadcast radio. That's fine. The nice thing is you can type in the frequency on this one, because the, the other one I had, you couldn't type in the frequency. So yeah, it's got the, um, the you know, adapter. That's gonna work well. And I've probably got the, the adapter insert there for the UK. I like that. Um, you actually, I know it's your wife won't, or your partner won't like it, but um, 
you actually could have this next to your bedside, couldn't you? Because you could use it as a as a clock. So that's the uh, the European sort of twin pig pink pig pin. So let's let's get some power on this and an antenna. I've got an external antenna here in my loft, so we should get some good signals. Okay, everything's connected. I'll just show you. Got the BNC there, power supply. Not having to use the USB yet, but we will be. And uh, so yeah, looking looking good. Let's turn it on. Remember, I, I, I've never used one. I watched a video about entering a frequency, and it said you press press one, hold, uh, type in the frequency. And then hold, I think. No, enter. No. Let me just let me just tinker for a while, but it's just while we're just listening to this. Nice and loud. Squelch. Scan buttons up and down. Mode. It's got these preset ones here. Now oh, there's some um, broadcast. Looks like you can type in broadcast as well. We've got an enter button here. There you are. That's really good just for radio listening, isn't it? It shows battery here. I wonder if it charges the battery. You know, I've got rechargeable batteries. I wonder if they actually charge. I'll look that one up. Uh, power, typing, hold. Now let's. Now we've got the clock here. Look. Different positions for setting. And you've got off radio. All oh, right, I see you can have alarm. It, it comes on, it will come on with your favorite ham radio channel. What more do you want? Off at the moment, snooze. Ah, the light. Okay, that's better. So the snooze is also the light. So let's go to scanner mode again. Let's try and enter a frequency. Just remember to turn it on, look, watch. Off, obviously we haven't done the time yet. We will do. Hold that down. So you want this pushed all the way to the right, and then you want it pushed over to the to the right there, where it says scanner. Then you press hold, enter channel number. This is the we got one in there. Let's do that again, <laughs> but it's working. Look. Okay, let's try that again. So you go hold, then you choose the number. Then you type in the frequency. Right, we're getting a bit lost here, so let's start again. So first of all, you press the number you want it to go to. So we go three. Then you press hold. Then you go E. Type in the frequency. One, two, six. Get my hand out of the way. Remember the dot, dot, zero, two, five, zero, enter. Uh, must be the wrong frequency. So we go enter again. One, two, six, dot, o, two, five. Enter. Channel two, let's just go up one. Four, let's try again. Channel number four. Then we'll go hold, type enter. Let's do two meters. One, four, five, dot, five, hundred. Enter. That seems to have worked. And then you can go up and down. Yeah. Need to get them right. Let's do 77s. So we'll try my node. So we'll go number five. Hold. Then we'll go four, three, four, dot, five, five, oh. Enter. And that's it. That's my node there. I can hear it going on. That's Hubnet, it's a, a node in my house. Yeah, two, echo zero, echo so we're getting one, 70 sems, no problem. Yeah, okay. Two meters. Okay. Um, so you can sit there as a ha as a, a hobby person and listen to hams talking if you've got a good antenna. Let's try. Uh, no, let's try 
here I get GB3WR, so which is uh, number, we'll go number eight. Press hold. Type in the frequency 145.600. Enter. And that's it. Pretty sure that's it. Go up and down. Yeah. And if there was any activity, we'd hear it. We could turn the squelch down. Just wondering if we can just, you know, scroll through channels. Looks like you do have to memorize them. Let's go to scan mode. So it's scanning sort of memories at the moment. I wonder if you can scan frequencies. That's a new thing to learn. What else? Try marine band. There were one. So we'll try number nine. Hold. One, five, six, dot, zero, zero, zero. Enter. Oh, done that wrong. Yeah, we did it right that time. So we went nine. Then hold. Then enter. Push the word enter. Then type in the frequency. Six dot. Zero, 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 then enter. Why do we keep making that wrong? <laughs> Try again. Nine. Hold. Then enter. One, five, six, dot. Zero, zero, zero. Enter. That's it. So now if we can scroll up and down. We've got 70 sems, two meters, we've got air band, marine band, and, and so on and so on. So you get the idea. So I think as a, this is just an unboxing, we'll learn more, but it seems quite straightforward. I am really curious to know what it's going to say when I plug a USB into the, on my PC. So we're just going to check that a minute. Just show you the cable. I plug the cable in. It's a micro USB cable. Goes in there. And I did hear a noise from the PC. Well, that's good news, we got a com. Okay, well, it looks like we found some software. Um, we're just gonna read from the scanner and then we're gonna play with this later. We did select the com port. It's reading. Scanner says that. Get the light out of the way. So it looks like it is programmable. And up here, we've got different banks, conventional, copy, paste, cut. So this is just a, you know, we're definitely gonna do a lot more videos on this. I think for a hundred pound, I think you get quite a lot for your money. Bye for now, 7-3. Catch you later on with more videos, all the best.